Two months ago, the four of us were traveling around West Africa. Olga and Franco driving their 1985 VW van north to Senegal. Sarah and Gabe hitchhiking down to South Africa. We had big plans before coronavirus hit the continent and forced us to take refuge in a guest house in Ivory Coast. Destiny and disease brought us together. It didn't take long to transform this place into our home. To keep sane, we start our mornings with meditative yoga while the boys hit the gym. Even though we are working with limited ingredients, we are using this time to try new recipes. Some are worth a Michelin star. But others, well, not so much. Leftover stew. Since the borders are still shut, we decided to try our hand at gardening. We planted everything we thought we could need in the event that we would have to live off the land. Until then, we still have to go out to get supplies. We're off to the store. Anyone need anything? When we leave, we take all the recommended precautions. We don't have Wi-Fi or TV, so we have to make our own entertainment. First, we got hooked on pet flick soap operas. Then, when the Tokyo 2020 Games got postponed, we started the Quarant Olympics, where we compete in disciplines such as bamboo vaulting and African fencing. In these games, the winner gets nothing, but the loser washes the dishes for the rest of the quarantine. These times are challenging for everybody. For us, the keys to getting through have been staying creative and keeping our sense of humor. In the beginning, two weeks of quarantine seemed insurmountable, but it's been 42 days now and we still haven't gone completely insane. Or so we think.